Hey, mental projector. I'm the most excited about this one because this is also me. Yay. Now, let me tell you, finding out I'm a mental projector and what that means and what that looks like saved my life in so many ways, I feel like, because I was always talking and processing and then people were like getting mad at me or like, it was a mess. I wonder if you can relate to this. Um, and then I didn't always totally know what my gut wanted. And so just knowing that I need to talk it out is so huge, so important, and that I need to be in the right environment. So as a mental projector, we don't have anything lit up down here, like at all. So we don't have any access to the body centers. So where we are in our environment is super important. So this is this authority is either mental projector, it just says none, or it's environmental. Because our environment is super important to us. Because we don't have any of this lit up, then we're taking in information on all of these centers from our environment. And so that's part of why we need to talk out loud to just like process all of the things that we're taking in and why our environment is so important. Because if we're in an environment that's not correct for us, then we're not really going to feel right and it's not going to be we're not going to be able to make a decision that's the most aligned for us. A beautiful thing about mental projector is that um, when you when you find people who are okay just being with you, it's, it's really important. When you talk it out, you can be around people who are okay just being a sounding board, just sitting and listening to you, just supporting you as you process out loud. You can journal, you can do voice notes, you can just go for a walk and talk. Whatever you need to do to to just talk about this decision and all the things is what you need to do. And it helps to do it in different environments because it's like, it's like when you're talking about it to one person, it kind of reflects back to you in a specific way, but then you talk about it to another person, it reflects back to you in a different way. And then it's like you, you get different angles of what's happening based on the environment you're talking in. And so, it's it's fascinating and kind of weird to explain and we're also we're only one percent of the population y'all so there's probably not many people that totally get us and probably a lot of people have made you feel wrong for being how you are if you're anything like me so it's totally fine it's totally fine just know that if if you try to talk to somebody about stuff and they keep trying to give you advice or like interrupt you that's not your person you need to just be able to free flow talk and you know find the support in that way and so now if you love a mental projector this is really important let them talk just let them talk just be there with them just love them you literally don't need to say anything back like they're not asking for advice they're not asking for permission they're not asking for anything other than support while they talk, other than a safe, loving environment while they talk so that they can actually hear their own selves. It's like when you, when they're talking, then the wisdom comes from hearing their own words. So just be with the mental projector that you love and don't rush them because again, the different environments create different things and we hear it and see it and experience in different ways whenever we talk. So just have patience, let them talk, don't rush them, don't push them to make a decision, don't try to make the decision for them, just be with them and love them. That's all. You got this.